Hi guys, welcome back, and we're going to look at the sixth lick, okay? And this one is very rhythmical. It's a really good example of, of how, just how rhythmical Gilmore's playing is, um, as well as using double stops. So let me just show you what it sounds like, and then we'll go through it. So it's simply this. Okay, and that's before we're going to go right up top in the next video. So this one, I, I wanted to spend a whole lesson going through this because it's actually surprisingly hard um, and it, it really requires you to get in that groove. Okay, so let's just take the old big muff and the, and the delay off for the moment and go through it nice and clean. So firstly, we're back in the pentatonic shape one, B minor. Okay, so. Okay, and what we're doing is we're going to grab these two notes here. So we're going to take the G string and the B string on the seventh fret. Okay? And we're just going to put those two together. Now, something that you'll notice me do all the time, it's not an absolute must, but it makes a big, a big difference in my mind as to the sound, the overall sound and feel of this. And it's just simply that I just slightly nudge both notes down. It would be called a quarter bend, where it's not quite a half bend, you know, you don't actually physically change the note to the next note along, which would be like you're actually just slightly nudging it. It's more like a kind of intense vibrato and it's a very bluesy thing to do. So if you can, just grab that and just slightly nudge it down. Now you kind of hold on to that and then you come back to the ninth fret of the D string, pull off to the seventh fret, then back down to the ninth fret of the A string. So you go like this. Okay. Now, that's, imagine that's your first half of this thing. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab this uh, seventh fret of the D string, and then you're going to, that kind of acts as the same as your first note, but now just a single note, but you're going to do that same little bend, that little quarter bend. Okay. Now, as soon as you've done that, you're going to do that same pull-off uh, pull section. Okay, so nine, seven, nine. Okay. So what you get all together is two halves. This and then. Okay, if you imagine they're kind of opposing each other. So you've got the first guy talking, then the second guy talking. Okay, it's like a call and response with yourself. Alright, so it's a very bluesy thing. Now when you put that together without the gap, it sounds like this. And then you just repeat that, okay? So I'll do it again, nice and slow. Again. Okay, so you essentially repeat it really kind of three times and on the fourth time you do something slightly different, okay? So like this, one, two, the fourth time you just grab the seven on the G string by itself, big load of vibrato, loads of kind of rock vibrato on that, and then you're just going to simply go like this. Okay, so we go seven, nine, bend up and down, just a semitone bend, and then onto the root note, okay. So the whole lick together is this. So, notice the whole way through I, I'm looking at this kind of rock vibrato and um, we've got a couple of courses on, on actually how to do vibrato well and even if you're an intermediate player looking at this, I would highly recommend you just you spend a little bit of time just going, is my vibrato right? Is it good? Is it, is it sounding like that basically? Now the, the whole idea here is that you, you're playing pretty wide vibrato. But at no point are you bending it out of tune or, or it's, it's not too aggressive, you know, it's not too fast. It's more just wide, but very rhythmical. Okay, so it's just... 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you are unsure or you think your vibrato could do with a little bit of work, then we've got a vibrato lead course in the beginners and intermediate section of our lead electric playing. Okay, so have a look at that. It's going to really help. So let me just play that with the beat. So I'm going to do the nice slow down beat. We're going to put the big muff on. We're going to put the delay on and we're going to go through it. So here's our beat. Nice and slow, of course. Now this lick comes in at the first beat of the bar. Okay, so I'm going to count you in. So like this. So be one and two and three and four and. Okay, what we can do to be sure you really understand that we can slow that down even more let's go down to 40 bpm and remember on the tab editor and where you're where you're kind of viewing the tab you can slow it down as much as you like all the way to 50 percent speed so here we go one two three four And there we have it. So there's your, we're almost at the end, just try and piece everything together up to now. So when you practice this, practice that, and then practice the two licks we did before that and the three licks we did before that, trying to get that section all together. And then the next video, once you've got all of that together, we'll learn the final two licks.